Hi everyone, so today I'm working on the twins hair and as you all can see their hair is completely dry and dirty because I just took down their braids. I've heard so much about using aloe vera as a hair treatment, also as a max and as a detangler and I thought to try it out in today's video and this is exactly what we have guys. Here is the after. I'm completely like I'm completely blown away by the result of this treatment even though I have few complaints to make but the overall outcome is just amazing it leaves the hair really really soft very very like look at this this is not gel guys like this is just the the hair being like looking so amazing the hair looking so nice and everything I can't wait to share the whole process with you guys Alright, so here we are guys. I'm using four aloe vera plants. I actually showed three because I could only hold three. You guys know aloe vera has um, spikes on them, so I couldn't handle three, um, four of them. But yeah, as you all can see, I went ahead and just removed the, the head and also the tail. All you need is kind of the middle part of it. Like the, the head doesn't really have um, much, you know, when you go ahead and cut it. So I like to go ahead and and just remove the head and the tail and as you all can see look at this like slimy um you know looking um jelly i don't even know how to explain it but if you're familiar with aloe vera you know this is exactly how aloe vera um gel looks so what i'm simply going to do is to go ahead and just remove the back like the front and the back of the aloe vera and once you go ahead and do that all you're going to be left with is the gel and as you all can see i'm popping it right into my blender because we're going to go ahead and blend it but then when blending guys i'm not like blending it as if i'm doing um a smoothie or a puree i'm going to use i think ice crush um setting you know on my blender because i just want to kind of um kind of um cut it you know into small chunks i don't want to blend it like totally as you all can see like i will put on like i will put it in the crush um setting like it will go maybe for a second and then i'll off it as you all can see you can still see some um um some uh, chunks of of the of the aloe vera gel inside my blender so what i'm going to do is to go ahead and just cover it up and then go in with the ice crush you see so i just put it on put it off put it on put it off that way it's not going to like blend absolutely i hate it when i'm using aloe vera and you know it becomes so puree because when you go ahead and apply it on the hair it just becomes a mess it starts running all over the, the the head it just it just becomes a mess so and also doing it this way absolutely gets all the gel you know out of the the whole um aloe vera plant or i don't even know how to explain it but yeah so over here i'm going ahead to apply some um some um what is this called wig cap this is you guys know the the wig cap we we put under our hair you know before we go ahead and add our wig and this is a very simple and easy way to get rid of all the all the chunks you know of aloe vera uh, this is actually my very first time trying this aloe vera treatment on the girls even though i've tried it on my face like i've tried aloe vera for my acne you know like i would say two years ago or something and when i did it guys i had all the chunks and all those things all over my face so in order to make sure you just get the kind of the 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 creamy you know part of the aloe vera this is just the perfect way to do it and also if you don't want to end up having bits and pieces of aloe vera all over your child's hair or all over your hair this is just the best way to do it you just get a pantyhose or you get a wig cap and just use it to strain the aloe vera like you guys look at this all we have in here is 100 percent aloe vera and over here i got kind of um kind of a container this container i purchased from my local beauty supply store as you all can see so it comes with this nozzle it makes it so much easier to apply the product on the kids hair so over here guys i'm gonna go ahead and just remove the the band or the ribbon whatever it is 
I used, you know, to hold down um, one of the twins here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it and try as much as possible to kind of um, detangle. But it was just too much. Like it was too much of a hassle. And also my, my babies, you know, they have a very delicate skull. So I don't like using them um, comb on, on them, especially when their hair is dry, guys. Like it's, it's a very, it's a no, no. When a child's hair is dry to go ahead and use a comb because they might end up getting sick or having you know headache so i tried as much as possible to kind of use my finger to you know to like separate her hair so that way at least it's going to be easier for me to apply the aloe vera gel and also with the fact that the container i used in applying the aloe vera has kind of a very long nozzle you know on it so it made it so much easier for me to go ahead and apply the aloe vera all over her hair So once I've been able to detangle the hair, I went ahead and started applying the aloe vera. And you guys, like this product right here, I was, I was like, mm, I wasn't sure, you know, when I first applied it, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope this works, especially with detangling, because you guys, like, I've tried a lot of detangling, um, products you know from the beauty supply on the twins hair and for some reason they don't work on their hair guys like after applying it and then i go to comb it like for some reason no please if you have any recommendation of course apart from this aloe vera because now i know of aloe vera you know um plants for kind of as a detangler or as a hair mask you know now i know but if you have any recommendation for hair detangler you know apart from the aloe vera please let me know because i've tried a lot and it never worked but you guys immediately i saturated this part of the hair with that aloe vera plant guys with that aloe vera gel Oh my gosh, like look at how the, how Angelique's hair looks as if I applied maybe a relaxer on it. It just kind of softened it immediately. Like I went in with my comb, I comb and then um, combed it and it was just so free. And yeah, over here, I decided to bring the camera, you know, closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. And as you, as, as you all can see, I'm just going in with that long um, container nozzle, you know, to just put the to deposit the aloe vera under her hair and also i go right um towards the end of the hair and also apply the gel because you guys know sometimes the the ends of our hair can be quite dry so it's always recommended to saturate it but look at this guys look look at this like once you go ahead and you know saturate the aloe vera you leave it for maybe i would say two minutes you know and then comb it it just becomes the hair just becomes so free the only complaint about i have about this particular um treatment is the fact that once the aloe vera starts um, kind of um, heating up you know because you guys know our skin can get things warm right it just starts running down the face start running down the, the back start running down the body it's just it just becomes annoying so that's the only complaints i have but in order to prevent that i went ahead and applied this um, shower cap you know on on angelique's hair and this right here you know it prevented it from running that much but it still ran you know and with this i'm going to leave it on her for an hour you know you can of course use it overnight if you want to but i just left it on their hair for one hour and now i'm gonna go in with this shampoo this is the shampoo i love to use for the girls it's actually meant for kids so i went ahead and um use them kind of lukewarm water to to wash off her hair look at her she's laughing she said that the 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 thing i'm using on her hair is kind of ticklish that's why she's laughing but yeah i went ahead and you know took out the aloe vera and now i went in with just a little shampoo to kind of shampoo her hair you know out yeah please before i forget please guys just kindly take a moment just take a second and hit that like button please don't forget i know some of you always forget but please don't forget <laughs> So 
So I used cold water to rinse off her hair and she said I should put it on her face. That's why you guys saw me putting putting some of the water on her face. But anyways, I went ahead and dried out her hair and now we're going to go ahead and do some concussion, guys. I'm going to make a hair oil and this is going to be a hundred percent natural hair oil and to do this i'm using organic virgin coconut oil i'm using organic avocado oil and also jamaican castor oil absolutely love these three products guys especially when you want to do your own natural grease so how i love to do it is to go ahead and add two spoons of the coconut oil then i'm going to add two um, tablespoons of the castor oil and also two tablespoons of avocado oil and this right here like mixing these three products together guys it's gonna just help also kind of add to that um to that texture to that softness of the hair especially once you've gone ahead to you know take off the the aloe vera gel the aloe vera did an absolutely amazing job you know with detangling and also kind of maxing the hair so now we're gonna go ahead and make kind of a hair grease a hair oil you know for their hair and in order to melt the coconut oil i went ahead and added hot water in a plate and then dipped the the oil um, plate inside the hot water so that way as you all can see it just dissolved it and now i'm using this small container right here to transfer the oil into it and of course just like we did with the aloe vera container this right here is going to make it so much easier to kind of go right under their hair Hair and apply it and this is just angelique's hair um, um without the oil this is her hair like after we used the aloe vera gel and as you all can see it's completely different you know from when we started and also for some reason i just felt like her curls was really really popping I don't know like I get confused with the different types of natural hair you know out there I know they have 4A, 4B, 4C and everything and I researched on Google and they said 4C you know is likely what Angelique has but I'm not sure let me know what kind of what type of hair you guys think this is because she has curls you know all over her hair but then when her hair dries it becomes more like afro than curls so I don't know how to explain it but yeah I went ahead and applied the oil you know on her hair dried it out a little bit with my blow dryer and this is what we have guys very soft very no no actually this is angel i applied the gel with angelique and then i'm applying the oil with angel oh my gosh the twins they literally just confused me now but yeah guys this is exactly what we have right here and i absolutely i'm absolutely in love with the result and of course this is exactly what i'm going to be doing for the twins once they have their braids once they take off their braids this is exactly the treatment they are going to be going for because it's just amazing and it's all 100% natural so i hope you're able to you know try this out on your kids or even on yourself this is not just meant for kids guys adults can also use it and it's amazing and yep guys please don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye